Reminder, this video is the first chapter of a two-part video series. Make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell and be the first to watch the next chapter. Susan Flannery said goodbye to the bold and the beautiful when she decided to retire in 2012, 25 years after playing the matriarch of the Forrester clan, Stephanie. In her final storyline, Stephanie lost her battle with lung cancer and died. Today, the Emmy-winning actress spends some of her spare time with friends, but additionally, she visits her daughter Blaze and her family, who now live in Australia. Ron Moss originated the character of Ridge Forrester in 1987 and remained in the role for more than two decades. After he left in 2012, Moss did a few interviews and said it was a salary issue and that CBS wasn't paying him enough to stay. However, in later chatter, he made it clear there was a lot more to it than that. One of the issues was his memory. The actor shared that in 2012, he was in a devastating car accident with his wife, Devin DeVasquez. After that, Moss said he, quote, couldn't remember and that made it impossible to keep up with the pace at the show. Moss had been in the band Player for decades, and the group's song Baby Come Back hit number one on Billboard in 1978. Between 1977 and 2013, Player released six albums, and they last went on tour in 2015. Now at 68, he continues to work on musical projects and participate in charity projects with his wife. In 2019, the actor also launched his own wine brand, which is aptly called Moss Wines. Windsor Harmon took over the role of Thorn Forrester from Jeff Trachcha in December 1996 and played the role on again, off again until 2017. On his exit, he stated, I was told there was a storyline coming, and then a month later, I got a call from executive producer Brad Bell. He was going to recast the role with Ingo Rademacher. So yeah, it was a bit of a shocker. Lindsay Godfrey joined the cast of The Bold and the Beautiful in March 2012 and received three consecutive Daytime Emmy nominations beginning in 2014. Then, a strange twist linked to Godfrey's departure from the series as her character died from an instant aneurysm. The actress currently plays the troubled Dr. Sarah Horton on Days of Our Lives. Adrian France starred as Amber Moore from 1997 to 2005. Immediately after leaving B&B, she showed up in Genoa City on The Young and the Restless, only to reappear as the same character. France returned to The Bold and the Beautiful in 2010 and stayed until her contract expired in 2012. These days, the 42-year-old is enjoying her life as a mother, raising children, Amel and Leon with her husband Scott Bailey. Jack Wagner played popular sea captain Nick Marone on the daytime show starting in 2003 until he was unjustly fired in 2012. Before he was dismissed, the rumor mill had been abuzz with gossip that Wagner refused to take a substantial cut in pay and drop to recurring status. He would also have to sign a contract agreeing not to work on any other soaps. A talented musician and singer, Wagner's song All I Need was a top 10 hit on Billboard charts in the US. These days, he is seen playing Bill Avery on Hallmark's Win Calls the Heart. Sean Kanan joined the cast of the CBS Opera in 2000 and remained until early 2005 when he opted to go on recurring status. He reprised his role in 2012 before saying goodbye again in 2017. Deacon Sharp is off the bold and the beautiful canvas these days, having been jailed for trying to shoot ex-wife Quinn Fuller, but Deacon's portrayer has been staying busy in front of the camera. 2019 was a big year for the soap hopper with creating the hit Emmy-nominated series Studio City and the co-compilation of a new book, Success Factor X. The book rapidly became a bestseller on Amazon and launched Kanan's inspirational speaking tour. Joanna Johnson was only 25 when the daytime drama debuted in 1987 and she quickly emerged as one of the show's brightest and most romantic stars, first as doomed heroine Caroline Spencer, then as her identical twin Karen. Her last visit to the set was in 2014. In addition to acting, Johnson is also a well-known television producer with major shows like Hope and Faith, The Fosters, and Good Trouble to her name. In May 2012, the actress came out as a lesbian during an interview with TV Guide. Having been in a relationship since 2003, she married LA club promoter Michelle Agnew in 2008. They have an adopted son and an adopted daughter. When Carla Mosley made her B&B &B debut in 2013, ex-con Maya Avant came to town looking for her daughter, who was put up for adoption. 
in April 2015, in the midst of success as a supermodel, Maya made history when she married Rick Forrester, becoming the first transgender bride in the history of American daytime television. Mosley was taken off contract on The Bold and the Beautiful in March 2018. She did appear a couple of times in 2019, but recently announced her run as Maya was over for good. Hope Logan was portrayed by several child actors since the character's introduction. In 2010, the role was rapidly aged and recast with actress Kim Matula, who made her first appearance in January. For six years, her version of Hope became a fan favorite. Since abandoning her role as Hope Logan, Matula has appeared in a handful of projects. In 2016, Matula took on the role of Tiffany James on the TV program Unreal. After that wrap, she took on roles in Rosewood, Maybe Someday, and Teachers, before snagging a recurring cast role in the new TV series LA to Vegas. In 2019, Matula also appeared in the comedy drama Fighting With My Family, in which she played female WWE wrestler Jerry Lynn. Ashley Brewer joined the soap opera in 2013 and played the part of Ivy Forrester for five years before opting to vacate her role in order to take on new opportunities. Speaking to the Sun Herald, the Brisbane-born Australian actress admitted she came to the conclusion with the inspiration of former Neighbours actress Margot Robbie. I'm doing the acting thing in LA, onwards and upwards, she told the publication. Jacob Young first made the scene in 1997, when Rick Forrester was aged from a young boy to a teenager. After two years in the role, the actor vacated the part, but he wasn't gone from soaps for long. By the end of the year, he had landed the recast role of Lucky Spencer on General Hospital. Young nabbed a daytime Emmy for Outstanding Younger Leading Actor in a drama series, and then once again exited the soap genre. Then, he moved 3,000 miles across the country to New York City, where he took the part on All My Children. After AMC ended in 2011, Young returned to the West Coast and reprised the role of Rick. He was involved in many integral plots, including the groundbreaking transgender storyline with his then-girlfriend Maya Avant. Fans were shocked when this popular actor announced in 2018 that he'd been let go from the Sudza. Leslie Ann Down played Jackie Marone beginning in 2003, and in 2012, it was confirmed that she was not given a contract renewal. Down's dismissal seemed to come out of nowhere, and fans felt it was unfair. Texas Battle was cast as Marcus Forrester in May 2008. The actor came on to the show as the first African-American with an in-depth storyline. For the role, Battle was nominated in 2009 and 2010 for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People Award in the category of Outstanding Actor in a Daytime Drama Series. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.